weathered and aged and nearly a lost hope. Right now she looks a little bit like something out of the Pirates of the Caribbean, you know, a ghost ship of sorts. After a year or so underwater, the story of the Western Flyer is not over yet. In all the crackle and noise of the shortwave, one of our men made contact with another boat. John Steinbeck wrote Log from the Sea of Cortez aboard the boat. This is the Western Flyer. Is that you, Johnny? A Steinbeck's nonfiction book chronicling nature during a long voyage. Interestingly, people come from, have come from other countries and come in, so we're here to see Steinbeck's boat. Bookstore owner Peter Quinn says this literary town is thrilled that California businessman John Gregg, the new owner, finally ended the scuffle for ownership. The good news is that Mr. Gregg appears to want to keep her whole and uh, is going to put her back together here in Port Townsend, where we have some of the best shipwrights in the world. Work on the Western Flyer is just getting started. Fixing the ladder Steinbeck climbed, the door he used. These photos are the first to see inside. You can see why restoration could cost $2 million. She'll go from being a derelict vessel, she'll be pulled out into the working yard and replenished. We'll find people down here, obviously Steinbeck fans, uh, putting their hands on the hull, uh, <laughs> channeling Steinbeck, etc. But uh, yeah, it's a wonderful story, it really is. It'll take about two years to complete the restoration, maybe a little longer given the shape of things there. And the folks around Port Townsend fully expect that during those two years, they'll see another Steinbeck tourism boom during the restoration. In Port Townsend, Jeff Burns at Como 4 News.